Happy Testimony Tuesday day. Love angels. So, I could have done my cool down, but I wanted to get you guys or speak to you guys when I just finished. Wait for it. Sean T's Transform 20 cut day 40, but he called it a Seanathon. Yeah. So, I'm really happy that I didn't know what to expect going in because my mindset would have been totally different. So, in my mind, you know, I'm on to my last cut workout for 20 minutes. Oh, so I thought. So Sean T decided to do 60 minutes of Transform 20. He literally put everything together. We had nine Transformers normally. In the 20 minute workout, we have three. So I had to mentally prepare myself. Everything that he taught us about like playing the soundtrack in your mind that's going to push you forward. Um, just knowing that I can conquer anything I climbed, you know, um, I climbed, I conquered, the first one oh gosh oh I committed <laughs> I had to look back at my, my tag but I committed and this is not over yet you know the best is yet to come um yeah so I just wanted to say like when you have that like doubt that kind of creeps in you know I just encourage you don't listen to that thought just remind yourself that you can do anything you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you remember that please remember that and that will definitely push you through because I ain't going to lie. I was looking at the time and I'm like, we 40 minutes. In, I mean, we 20 minutes in and normally I'm done. And you mean I got to do another 40? But like he said, even though there's a part of you that wants it to be over, there's another part of you that feels like, yes, I'm achieving it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And honestly, as it was getting closer to the time, it was pumping me to keep going. I guess the endorphins were really kicking in. But I'm just so thankful and so blessed for the opportunity to do Transform 20. Um, and it wasn't about transforming the body so much as transforming your mind, just your overall being. Um, and it's funny, this year at my church, our theme is transformation. And then I did Transform 20. And I've really been just trying to transform my whole life, transform my mind daily. And it's been such a blessing, I have to say. Just the fact that I pushed through because this workout was challenging. You think that you just have a step and you'll be good. But using your own body weight to work out is actually more challenging than when you're using the weights and the bands, which I am going to go back to um, just because I missed it. So I'm going to do a little bit of 80 day again. Um, but I'm just thankful for my love angels who have been following me on this journey, who has been encouraging me. I pray that I've been encouraging you all. I know some people do come to me and they say they see me doing the workout. Sometimes they're like, oh, she crazy. What kind of workout is she doing? And then some people actually say that they get up and they try and do the workouts. And that's what it's all about, you know, us encouraging one another and just protecting our temple. And I said this once, I'll say it again. People are always like, you look good the way you are. You don't need to lose any weight. And it's not about losing weight. I'm always going to challenge myself to be the healthiest and best version of myself that I can be. And when people say, what's your ideal size? I just say a size healthier, you know? So I get excited when I find like new recipes or just new challenges just to keep me, you know, I don't want to ever get stagnant and I feel good. That's what's most important. Like I was telling a friend of mine, I was like, I wonder where I would have been if I didn't take these necessary steps years ago, you know, because I always said that. Um, I wanted to be healthy while I was young, so I'll be less at risk for health issues in the future. Um, and thanks be to God, you know, I haven't been sick since doing this lifestyle change. Um, I feel good. Um, I lost body fat. I'm toning up, which is what I'm most um, uh, concerned with. And like the visceral fat, the fat around your lungs and your heart, like I'm more concerned with that. I, I feel great. I know I look great to me that is but that's just beside the point and it's crazy because growing up I wanted to lose weight and be skinny because that's what society deemed as beautiful and we all know that that's not true you know um, I want to be healthy strong healthy and beautiful which I am I am thanks be to God um so yeah for those this program is supposed to come out in April for everyone else so we were kind of like a test group 
to do it and it is so worth it like he says like you don't even have to work like even if you don't lose the weight you want like if you change if you transform your mindset and you saw maybe just small changes you started feeling stronger um you started toning up in areas you maybe lost five pounds and you was expecting to lose 20 like just celebrate every victory i don't like to call them small victories because every victory is a big victory in my mind so that's that i just wanted to share this with you guys i have to do um, the last workout is balanced and that's more of like the cool down workout and it's only 20 minutes I checked but I think God did this for a reason because had I known that this was gonna be 60 minutes I think yeah my mind was just not I just wasn't ready <laughs> honestly but you know God got me ready um, and that's also whoo thank you Holy Spirit what I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted was that was a word how I said I wasn't ready and I uh, wow it's amazing when I have these light bulb effects, I like to call them. But sometimes when you're not ready and you don't know what to expect, God gets you through. He really does. Like I said, I started this program thinking I was doing 20 minutes. Sometimes we go into things thinking it's one thing and then to our surprise, it's something completely different, you know, but God always gets us through. You know, you're never, ever alone. Even when you feel like you are, you know, yesterday we were singing about trusting in him and like... Even when you feel like you can't trust your family, your friends, those around you, you can always trust in God. So with that being said, I will go now, but I hope you all enjoyed this quick Testimony Tuesday video. And there is more to come. Love you guys. Thank you, for, bleh, thank you so much for your love and support. Bye. I'm finished. Transform 20. <sighs> I climbed, I committed, and I conquered. So rare. You have to find a place of peace. When I started this journey, I was like, they want me to do what? You want me to shoot for six weeks straight? I just didn't think I could do it. And I'm revealing to you the first time, like one of my biggest struggles is trying to commit to something that is that really scared me. But if I can have a moment like I did it, like and every single person here has had some sort of transformation. And to believe that I can guide you through a transformation, I know. I know there's a lot of people out there saying, show it to you, change my life. But there's a moment of validation that comes when you run to the finish line. Come. Come. There's a moment of validation that we all have when you're just really proud of me. I ain't gonna lie, he had me tearing up. You know, it's your music, it's your daughter, it's This was such an amazing journey, y'all. Like I said, it wasn't just physical for me. It was mental. This is the theme. This year is transformation, transforming your life. And this program just like kickstarted that for me. So thank you so much, Shuanti. Thank you for creating this program again. Thank you for just being so encouraging and just amazingly you. I wish blessings on you and the team and the best is yet to come. All right, guys, I pray that this encouraged you this morning. 
Love you all.